everybody, and welcome to this episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 10, Episode 12. Peaches be tripping, okay? So, we're going to start out with Mama Joyce wanting to go talk to Portia. This was nothing like what I expected because I thought Mama Joyce was going to get Portia together, get Portia towed and go off on her. Honey, I was thinking to myself, I hope Portia have security backup, a gun, some more stuff ready because I don't know what Mama Joyce is about to do to her. But, honey, surprisingly, Mama Joyce was on Portia's side. But, I'm going to tell you. She was going on and telling Portia about um, how uh, Phaedra gave, <laughs> gave Candy a lemon and Candy made lemonade out of it. But she uh, worked with all of these lawyers and all these business people and she hooked Candy up with the help. And she still was kind of bitter behind that. But then Mama Joyce got to the true meaning of her meeting when she started talking about Mama Joyce. You on a Bentley, honey. Mama Joyce was going to get some money out of the whole situation. You should have known it was something behind it when it comes to Mama Joyce. Some coins was behind it. Because she was basically, in other words, it sounded like to me, she was saying, honey, Phaedra did all that to you. Sue her and get some coins. And since I'm giving you this idea to sue her, uh, sue her not sue her, but sue her, go... um. You know, we can all get some money behind me, and I can be in a Rolls Royce just like you. I called it. Did you catch it? Because I did. Yeah. Moving on. So, anyway, Nene and Cynthia, they having their little talk. And um, Nene said, can you <laughs> ran in there like Captain Save a bitch to uh, Cynthia before she could even say anything to her? Because that ain't how... You know, Nene was wanting it to go because Nene was just going to carry Cynthia off and talk to her. It wasn't really supposed to be a whole big group thing, but Kenya had to be the center of attention. Kenya was just trying to make up to Cynthia. She left all that exhaust up in her face when they was in Texas and she done acted a fool. So now she want to try to act like, girl, I'm really your best friend after she done been mean to her. But see, that's how Kenya do. But anyway... I believe Nene when she said she was uh, really trying to be protective and she didn't, uh, she don't want Cynthia to be used. And I really believe Nene. But I'm with Nene. P Peter was a much better fit but uh, for her than Will was. I, um, I know we thought Peter was a gold digger, but looks wise, Peter does take the cake. I do still think he was a gold digger, but we'll get to that later. So Cynthia going to go on, a, she want to go on a little trip or whatever. And she want Nene to co-host it. So she said she going to get the Airbnb and she want Nene to do all the activities. She going to pull a Tiffany Haddish and she said she going to group her in this whole thing, honey. But that's okay. That's what's up. At least they finally telling the truth. We always knew that um, they was doing this kind of stuff. They just ain't never said it. It wasn't no secret. Well, at least I knew. Some people so naive, they think they got it like that. But, honey, I knew they wasn't doing it like that. I be on their social media. And you, if you on their social media, then you see that they ain't rolling like they say they are. And plus, too, you know that production is helping do um, some things, too. If people open their eyes and look, they'll see that and stop living in fa fairy tale land. It's real obvious, you know. Mm-hmm. Anyway, but no problem with it. I, I need to hook up like they got to hook up. We can group us and stuff and go. I don't see nothing wrong with doing it or nothing wrong with going like that. But anyway, so they uh, want everybody to go. That includes Kim. And then he said that includes her Uber driver, Croy, if he want to go too. And if Kim can't go without him going, so be it. But anyway, moving on from that, Kenya is at the doctor. And I don't know what kind of doctor she go to because my doctor ain't never called me on speakerphone to tell me whether or not I was pregnant. And then, too, if, when I go to the doctor, anytime I've been pregnant and I'm and I'm that early or long or whatever, they don't just take a urine. They take blood right then, too. Some doctors do, some doctors don't. So you really can't say it's depending on what doctor you're seeing. But anyway, um, you know, I... We've heard and seen in the media that she may be pregnant with twins. So I'm guessing at some point in this show, we'll finally hear the truth about this. I hadn't got on social media and Googled it. And I'm not getting on social media and Googled it, Googling it. Because I'd rather wait for the truth than hear a bunch of hearsay, he say, he, he say, she say. Unless it's on Kenya's page for sure. 
I ain't got time for it. I watch too many shows. I got too many reviews to do. Uh, Mook Bones and Halls to do to be worried. I don't even care that tough to even go do it. So, moving on. Um, Kenya, um, I do hope Kenya do be able to have a baby. I have friends that want kids, and I know how I feel. You know, see, I see what them go, what they go through to try to get pregnant. And I ain't gonna wish it on no lady. And King, I ain't approved of everything King done done, but that kind of thing right there, I don't play about. So I hope she do get pregnant and have some kids. Portia wants to have a, a no beef party <laughs> for her little vegan thing. You know, like no, no beef. She said like no beef and no beef. Soon as um she said it, I couldn't wait to see who all would come because I already knew Portia. I mean, Candy probably wasn't coming, and I figured Nene may or may not come, but more than likely wouldn't come. I figured Kenya wouldn't be there. Um, so for as far as all the rest of the ladies, I figured they would come. So, um, my first that like I said, that was my first thought. So um, anyway, Cynthia had lunch with Peter. And you can tell that she really missed him. But I'm going to tell you what. It, she she really kind of want Peter back. But Peter got done got out of Cynthia. This is what I tell y'all. We'll talk about this later. Now it's later. Peter done got out of Cynthia what he wanted. He needed her popularity to get the holes back flowing through. He got that. He needed her finances to um, fund him a bar. He finally got a popular bar. I heard one of the bars is doing good. Um, people that I know that live in Atlanta said bar one not open yet. Somebody that I met, you know, through something else online, they said bar one in Atlanta not open yet. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's just what she told me. And I'm going to take her word for it because I don't live in Atlanta. But they said the one out there in Carolina somewhere doing good. He got from her what he wanted, his fame and popularity. He on this show. He keep recurring on the show. So... You know, he don't need her now, so he ain't studying him. You know, he probably got him some little hot young thing on the side. Keep it in mind, did he have like a toddler when they met? A two, three-year-old when they met or whatever? Mm-hmm. Anyway, they was cute together. But he ain't studying her no more, so she gonna have to move on along. I, I, I still think... um. Will and opportunity, opportunities. I don't know what his agenda is other than to get on. I know one of his agendas is to get on this show. He on the show. That was one thing he wanted. He got that. The next, I think he just like Peter. That everybody needs her, her name and her face for popularity. And he gets her in cert, certain social groups. Um, I think he wants to be a model and be in, on her arm. And I did say yes, on her arm. Gets his name out there, and I think that's what what he's using her for, and it's really sad. So I hope she eventually finds somebody that likes her for her. In order for her to do that, she gonna have to find somebody in the industry that's higher up than she is. That way, they don't have nothing to use her for, and I feel like that's what she gonna have to do to find her a good man more than likely. Candy, like most moms, is thinking about getting a, a boob reduction, honey. When I lose my weight, I'm getting a boob re reduction. I said, I'm getting a boob reduction. I said, I'm going to get some of this fat sucked out, put in my butt, so my butt will be real and real be mine. I ain't getting no injections and no um, silicone put in there. I'm getting my fat redistributed over my body, and these boobs pull tight. They're going to be so tight, honey. All I need is some bed names to go across my nipples, honey, and they're going to be some pretty perky sea coconutties, honey. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, so Marlo gets to Portia House. Marlo pull up critiquing Portia House out of the gate, talking about her welcome rug too little, do the doorbell work. Marlo can just be a rude guest sometimes. As soon as she got out of the car, she got started looking at girl house up down. She probably was looking at the girl gutters, her shingles, and everything. <laughs> but anyway, so everybody gonna walk up to the door. They wanting the same thing. What's all this white stuff up in there? Y'all, come on. Y'all done been to a party before. Y'all bougie 
help us all to know by now what's going on. Stop playing. So, anyway, Kim showed up with her signature solo cup. Let me tell y'all something. I don't have no issue with Kim's solo cup. I don't know why anyone else would have an issue with, with a solo cup. A solo cup is a cup you don't have to keep up with. When you're done drinking that of it, you can throw it away. You don't have to worry about breaking it. Why would she be walking around with a big-ass mug, fine china, or no glass or something? People are so shallow-minded. I don't see nothing wrong with it. I had a pink solo cup, a blue solo cup, a purple solo cup, a gray solo cup, because solo cups come in colors now i would make sure it would be as close to my outfit as possible it don't have to be just red but red is the signature color but i would have it match everything that i wear <laughs> like i said i don't even you they even come in black now i don't see nothing wrong with them that's what she want to ride on and drink her wine out of so who gives a damn Anyway, so they out there doing hookah, and I don't see how they doing hookah. I can do the little hookah that come in the pen, but that stuff out there with that tobacco and the, the stinky kind of be choking you. Uh uh. Kim says she don't smoke no more. Sheree don't want to smoke no more. She talking about she had a college party. Um, they need to loosen up, get the car out there, but have some fun. That's why I poor she having this party anyway. But anyway. They get to talking about Cynthia Mann, and y'all need to watch the other, and y'all need to watch the other housewives and learn how to keep the entire topic, how to keep talking when somebody walk in, like how, you know what I'm saying? When you're talking about somebody and they walk in, instead of just stop talking and be like, and making it obvious, y'all need to learn how to roll with the conversation and keep it going, like, oh, girl, yeah, but anyway, y'all should have been like, yeah, girl, but anyway, we, um, gonna eat soon, something like that, not just stop, just looking like a dick kind of head, like a bunch of, a bunch of idiots, y'all like a pack of dummies, but anyway, leave it to Marlo, good old Marlo gonna be honest, and I'm glad she did, if we gonna, ain't no need to be awkward, we gonna be honest, let's just go on and tell her, Cynthia, we was talking about you and your damn man, but we got questions, so come right on in, but Kim was right, Marlo, seeing your ex when you with the new boo, that's a bit much. For her to walk up and be like, oh, yeah, sit there. Me and Peter, we we, uh, we uh, color coordinated. Girl, and then how you said it was just so damn lame. It didn't make no sense. It made her be awkward. You out with the new boo, and it's your first time being out like this with the new boo and your ex boo here. That that ain't how you want somebody to come up and come at you, girl. Marlo, you, and you know better. All in all, I'm glad they did after that whole little group conversation how Cynthia best interest at heart. Now, I don't think I think they all just trying to look out for her. I don't think they're trying to be mean to her. I don't think they don't want her to date. I think they just you have to since they know Cynthia is naive and they know that she gullible and they just trying to look out for her and see about their friend. But anyway, Marlo sitting at this doggone table, uh Drunk, <laughs> burping these vegan beans and vegetables, and then gonna say it was Cynthia. <laughs> She's so wrong for that. I'm talking about she gotta go to the nursing home. <laughs> <laughs> that late at night. She's such a drunk lad. Oh, she spent the night over there at Porsche House because she definitely wasn't leading the way she came, which was driving. But anyway, everybody wanted Kim to come on the trip without Croy. And Kim said she don't travel at Croy since she had her heart attack because she don't trust nobody else with her life. And I get that. I understand that because I have some health conditions. And it's places I don't go without my husband. But not like Kim be doing, honey. But if I was traveling, I would want somebody in my camp probably like that too that's going to have my best interest at heart. But it probably wouldn't be my husband. I would probably have a friend that I would be close to that was a girl or something that could have my back. Even if a bunch of bitches tried to jump on me, I would still have a girlfriend there to have my back, plain and simple. But anyway, <clears throat> Cynthia don't care if she bring Coy, though they just really want to be a um, girl trip. Don't expect her to come. We already know she ain't going to come. But anyway, sure enough, we get on down in the show. Kim ain't about to come. Something about Croy can't come. Kenya not coming because she in love and she trying to go see her man. I can't blame her. If I was a newlywed, had a nice piece of meat at home that I ain't used to having every day, I would want to be on it too. I wouldn't be trying to go lay up with a bunch of girls to be arguing carrying on. But anyway, to me, it was a good show. They going on their little trip. I. 
everything to me like it's gonna be good. I can't wait to the next episode so we can really get off into this trip and discuss everything that happened and everything. So that was all for this episode. I thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see y'all in the next review. Bye.